Hello, good morning. I hope that you're all well and that you've had a good week. It's been an awful week here weather-wise. We've had dreadful rain, lashing rain. The amount of water that's come down has just been truly amazing. We've had snow in Cornwall, though thankfully not in our cove, but we had the most awful frost and there was thick ice on the road and we literally sat here watching cars trying to come down the other side of the cove and they were sliding. All the rain we had caused the cove to flood so we couldn't go that way and we couldn't go that way because the ford flooded as well so wednesday morning we were actually marooned here weather the force of nature it is quite amazing um, our arga went out this week as well which means that we've been without um, heat in part of the house and i was so grateful that my um, new sweater coat arrive because this has been so snug and cosy to wear to keep warm. This, um, it's really a coat, though it's, they call it a sweater coat, um, has this lovely pattern uh, taken from band samplers on it. It's really, really lovely. It's got two pockets and what I love most of all about it, it has a hood. I love having things with hoods on. Um, where we live, because of the way we're exposed to the elements, a hood is great for sort of just protecting yourself against the wind when you venture out. Sometimes just going from the house to the car um, can be an experience when the wind is blowing here. Um, this is available from the Sundance catalogue, which is based in uh, the United States of America. Um, I um, ordered it whilst I was in the States for delivery to the UK um, and it actually processed very, very quickly. The only thing is that when you order something from abroad to the UK, you always get clobbered with customs. I couldn't have taken receipt of it whilst I was in the US because you couldn't fit a sausage in my suitcase to come home. It was so full. But um, I didn't mind paying the customs because this is truly special for a needleworker. It's so cosy. Now, I ordered the small and really I should have ordered the extra small. This is a little bit sort of big on me, um, but I'm so unlucky when I wash anything that's knitted. It always shrinks. So this um, should be the perfect fit for me once I've given it its first wash. It's really, really lovely. I think it's a must for a sampler lover. Really, really gorgeous. Very, very pleased with it. Um, gosh, the rain is coming down now. You might be able to hear it. It's hitting the windows. I've got to go out in this later. When I made my floss tube last weekend, um, I had that horrible head cold. Well, I took the dogs out afterwards, got absolutely soaking wet and freezing. And Sunday night and Monday, I was really um, under the weather and I had the most awful running nose. I couldn't stitch, my nose was running so much, I couldn't bend over my needlework. So I haven't finished my little sampler, although I have made good progress. Um, here it is. I think that possibly tonight or tomorrow night I should finish it. Um, I've just got a Thirlton Norfolk and another little fancy dividing row and then just need to bring this down. I need to finish the numbers. When I got to uh, the letter Z, I decided I just had to put the girl's name on. Dinah Elizabeth Disney. Brilliant name. So now um, my thread that I'm working on, um, I've actually finished the letter two and I've got to fill in the rest of the numbers. Um, we went out last night to a Christmas party, so no stitching was done yesterday evening either. Um, the linen I'm using is seraphim linen and I believe this is called antique lace. It's a really pretty linen. I chose this because it was like a perfect match to the antique sampler. These two threads, um, they're where I'm bringing this outer border down. Here we are. 
very, very pleased with that. Um, some other things came in the post this week, and that was two wooden needlework um, items. I love wooden needlework items. Um, I don't know, wood is a lovely, you know, natural wood, real wood is a lovely thing to have in your home. And it's actually a theme that runs through our home. Every room's got um, oak floor in and, you know, lovely wooden pieces of furniture. Now, these two items, um, I bought them from Etsy and it's Danielle Shop Craft. I just want to make sure I always get the name wrong for this. Let me just double check on my phone. Danielle Shop Craft. I was right. D-A-N-I-E-L-E -E, Shop Craft. And they're spool holders. On this one, to put the spool on, you pull this out. You see? Um, and you have room there, I presume, to pop your scissors in. I'm just going to stop the video and go and get a pair of scissors and check that one moment. <clears throat> Yes, you can fit your scissors in um, on this uh, side piece. And that's obviously what it's there for. Um, I hadn't used this yet because um, I wanted to show you before I use it. Beautiful. And then the uh, second one, you can put your scissors in again. I think that's great. Really useful. I'm going to have fun using this. Um, talking of wooden items, um, I've just listed on my website some magnetic uh, pin trays. These are on my website now. Um, they have a insert so that you can embroider uh, a ribbon band to go around uh, the spool if you so wish. On this one, the mouse will sit on the rim or will sit in the center. Uh, there's a magnet on the rim and in the center. And the magnet's in the center to hold your pins and needles. Um, on this particular one, the mouse sits in the center. There's no magnet on the rim. The design of this um, doesn't give you a flat surface. Look at the wood on that. These are handmade in Cornwall um, and they are just so, so beautiful. They really are. It's nice to have pretty things around you when you stitch. Um, I need to say a huge thank you to everybody who purchased the PDF and the printed booklet for Bertha Lausch. She proved to be very popular after she was released last week. Sweet little sampler. This one's a great one to stitch as a blessing sampler in January. If you haven't heard of a blessing sampler, um, I believe it's a French or a Belgian tradition that if you stitch a sampler and finish it uh, by the end of January, it brings good luck to your, your stitching for the rest of the year. Um, last week, I talked about the stunning Anne Johnson um, sampler. Here she is. Um, and what I didn't show you last week was her booklet. Um, her booklet is an A4 booklet and it comes with a bookmark. Here we are. This is the, um, the booklet for Anne Johnson. Um, if you purchase just the booklet, from traditional stitches and you live outside North America, I will be shipping booklets only using UK postal rates, which are a lot uh, lower than Canadian um, uh, postage rates. If you order the kit, then those will ship from Canada. I was speaking to Janet uh, yesterday, so Janice, and she told me that she does have a handful of the thread beds available, um, but you do need to be quick if you want one of these. Um, this is a little gift that Janice is giving 
to uh, people who buy the free kits until supplies of these run out. A thread bed has um, some quilt wadding on. So when you put your needle and thread, it actually grips it. Um, very, very useful when you're stitching. I have to be extremely careful about needles um, and threads actually for the boys because um, I don't want them swallowing a needle. So I have to be very careful I don't drop my needles. Um, you know, you do hear stories about cats and dogs swallowing needles and that causes all sorts of complications. Um, out on the table, I've got Maria Ewing and I wanted to show Maria Ewing today because Maria um, is due to go back to Lisa who reproduced and stitched her. This uh, was our Queen of the May. Isn't that a beautiful sampler? The colours are so rich on this sampler. So, so pretty. Um, so uh, this, well, probably by the end of the week, this will be en route to New Jersey. Beautiful sampler. I've enjoyed having this um, in my study, uh, looking at her as I've been working. Now, I have two more samplers to show you. Um, I had showed this sampler when it arrived. Um, it was stitched by Margaret Fisher in 1841. This is a rich, vibrant sampler. I love this scene of the house and the detail and the perspective of the house is has been done very, very well. Um, you've got the bridge with the river running underneath it and you've got these trees. Now there is another sampler that's very reminiscent of Margaret Fisher's uh, sampler and that is the sampler of Mary Borrowdale which was worked in 1826 so that was um, 15 years before uh, Margaret sampler but you can recognise that house, um, it's the same house and um, you can see how the sampler um, has been an inspiration. Oh gosh, look at all these reflections. This sampler has been an inspiration for um, Margaret's sampler. The style of the sampler has progressed in those um, 15 years and there has been some alterations to this scene but the house remains the same. Um, I have not researched these samplers yet to uh, find out where they were stitched um, but it's something that I will do because I do think that both of these samplers ought to be reproduced. It's lovely. I love making connections between samplers. I love the stories behind samplers. Um, the verse on this one says, Man, having passed appointed years, ours are but busy days, the scene must close. And when fate messenger, when fate's messenger appears, what is he but a withering rose? Um, on Margaret's sampler, the verse is, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Then Jesus Christ, my Lord and Saviour, once became a child like me. Oh, that in my whole behaviour, he my pattern still may be. I like that a lot, actually. And the curious thing about both of these samplers, Margaret's got A.D. and a domino, but um, Mary's actually says Anno Domini. Um, so I really do think that these two samplers come from the same area, uh, the same school. Um, it's just that the design has progressed slightly over those 15 years. Oh, there's so many interesting stories behind samplers. Um, okay, what else have I got to talk about? Well, I hope to finish uh, Dinah Disney this week and I'm getting ready to start a big 
colourful sampler uh, that's going to take me quite some time to stitch. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I still need to stitch quite a few more red samplers for my red room, but um, I don't have to stitch them all at once. My sampler walls develop over time and they reflect my changing tastes. Needlework, it is a journey. Um, and as you progress on that journey, you discover new genres of samplers, new schools, samplers from different areas, and you go off on a different route. Um, okay, this is a very, very quick um, video today. Um, what was, oh, there was something I needed to say, oh, I wanted to say. Do you know what? My mind is an absolute <laughs> blank. Um, that was what comes from partying last night. Okay, stay well, stay safe, and if God is kind, I'll be back next week with another floss tube. Bye, see, bye.